Today we're making my barbecue shrimp recipe. This is so good. It has like a little bit of a tropical vibe because we're gonna serve it with grilled pineapple and coconut rice. This is the perfect weekday or weekend meal. It only takes about 45 minutes for the entire recipe, so let's get started. Hi, I'm Tara with Simply Made Eats, and welcome to my channel. Today we're cooking up this barbecue shrimp recipe. This is so easy. It's literally about 10 minutes of cooking. It is gonna sink your kitchen up a little bit. I know mine is a little bit stinky right now. Um, I'm super excited to make this. I like hardly ever make shrimp at home because my husband's allergic and he's working today and I'm like, you know what, I haven't had shrimp in a while, so let's make it happen. We are gonna start by prepping our shrimp. Lately I've been buying my shrimp with the shells on. I just like kind of feel like it keeps it fresher and it's also way less expensive. So if you're on a budget, just buy them with the shells on, take like 10 minutes extra just to prep them, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Okay, so all we need to peel and devein our shrimp is a paring knife. And then I've got our bowl of shrimp. I'm gonna use a like floppy cutting board. I like these because I can just stick them in the dishwasher. So I usually use these for like meat and seafood. And then I like to have a napkin in case it gets a little gooky. So these are an Argentina pink shrimp. I love them. They're really nice and crunchy and delicious. You're gonna just go ahead and pull off all the shell and the legs, twist off the tail. And then this one is already cut but it still has the veins, so you just wanna cut down the back of it just like that, not all the way through, and then you're just gonna pull out this little yucky gray strip, and that is it. Super easy, just get through them real quick. If you have like a ton to do, I'm only doing a pound and a half, so it's not gonna take me but a second. Um, you wanna keep them over ice just to keep them fresh. I know it can be like kind of gross to do this, but it really does like save quite a bit of money. Like the last time I went, I think I saved like $10 a pound by doing this. So it's like, okay, if this takes me like two minutes to just get through it. Turn some tunes on or something and just, just make it happen. You got this. Okay, so we've got a big bucket of shells to throw out and then I'm just gonna give these a quick rinse in cold water um, just to clean everything off. I got them really nice and clean when I was working on them, but I just like to give them a rinse just in case any shells or anything are left on here. And then we're just gonna use paper towels to just pat them dry before putting them in our marinade. Okay, so our shrimp is all ready. I just got it in a bowl. And then we're just gonna make a really simple marinade with some lime juice, olive oil, and spices. So I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of olive oil. Next, we've got the juice from just a half of a lime. And I really like to use fresh lime juice here. It makes a difference. And next we just have it some seasonings. I've got a mixture of cumin, paprika, garlic powder, salt, chili powder, and that's it. And we're just gonna pour those in. And then just give it a nice toss. And this is just a really quick marinade. We're just gonna let these marinate for about 10 minutes before cooking them. Next, I'm just gonna cover it with some plastic wrap and we'll just stick it in the fridge. And we're gonna get started on our pineapple. If you guys wanna make my coconut rice, I'll leave the recipe in the description and I would get started on that like before your shrimp or like right around now just so that it's ready all at the same time. Okay, so next we're gonna chop up our pineapple to grill it, and this is like totally optional. It is not even part of the shrimp recipe, but I just like serving it together. I think it like makes a really pretty, nice little dish. Um, so you can skip it if you want, or you can go ahead and make it a little extra. Okay, so once you get all the peel off like this, you can just go around and just like kind of touch up anything that you missed. And then you just wanna slice it into strips. Okay, and the thing about 
about brewing pineapple is you have to kind of cut it thick or it'll fall apart. I've got, um, I don't have like a core. I just like I'm one of those people that like, I only buy things if I absolutely need them. So this is a biscuit cutter, but it's like the skinniest one. I am just gonna like stick it right in the center and just turn. And that just takes like a perfect circle out. I would like it to be a little bit smaller, but it's fine. Okay, so now I have a saucepan. It's about medium size. I'm just gonna add a couple tablespoons of butter to it and a couple tablespoons of brown sugar. And then I'm gonna allow this to cook on the stove top just to melt together. You just wanna give that brown sugar and butter a nice little whisk. And then into your grill pan over medium high heat, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of butter, maybe two tablespoons, and then brush that brown sugar and butter mixture all over the pineapple. Lay it brown sugar and butter side down into the grill pan. And these are gonna grill for about, now I would say four to five minutes for each side. And then make sure to brush the other side before you flip them. And these get so yummy. Okay, so I really had to crank up the heat a bit to get the grill marks on those pineapple slices. So I'm just gonna wipe out a little bit of the burnt butter. I wanna leave like some of the flavor in here from the pineapple. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get this heated back up to medium heat. And I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of olive oil and a tablespoon of butter. I'm using the olive oil because I want it to increase the burning point of the butter just a bit. If you're using a grill pan, you wanna move it around a little bit just to distribute that butter and olive oil all in the pan. Then you're gonna lay the shrimp just on one side. You're gonna cook them for about three minutes on each side. And you wanna cook them until they're 145 degrees internally and they're not gray or translucent anymore. Then you're just gonna brush these with barbecue sauce and turn the heat to low. And next you're just gonna toss in some cilantro and just stir them really good so that sauce gets on all the shrimp. That's it, we're all done with this easy barbecue shrimp recipe. I hope you guys make it. Let me know if you like it and make sure to subscribe so we can keep cooking together. I post new recipes to share with you guys every single week. Thanks so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.